Hi, this is Nat. And this is Cromer. We are at the train station on our way from Catania to Palermo. And we got to see more kitty cats. In Catania. Yep. We went down to the port of Catania to kill some time. Yeah, wait for our train. I love this sign, do not drive in the water. It was a great little cafe, La Bita. We had some really nice drinks there. I liked it. I would have stayed longer. <laughs> yeah. As I mentioned, we're going from Catania to Palermo, so across Sicily. And this is on not a high speed train this time, but it was comfortable and very nice passengers. Sicily has a mix of agriculture, and that was one of the things you see a lot as you travel here. Also, I wanted to get a shot of some of the methods they used or used to get water around on the farms. So we have those troughs, we have the aqueducts, and then you also have pipes that are also raised, moving water across there. And then we discovered a cat on board. Yeah, it's a kitten. <laughs> and so we are going along here and, and I thought I heard something. And then we saw... That little tiny baby, Stella. She's so cute. Get the cat out of the carrier. And it would go between napping and crying to be left out. As kittens do. Here we're just <laughs> confirming, yes, it's a kitten. It's a cat that's a kitten. Oh, she's so cute. Very tiny. So eventually, after trying to spy around here and get a shot of her, we do get some recordings of her cries to try to get back out of the carrier after she had woken back up. I still think she wanted Prosecco. Yeah, so Natalie moves across here. We were making mimosas. You're allowed to carry drinks on the, on the train, and we were pouring them into the containers. We didn't have cups or glasses, so there was some spill. Poor baby wants out. <laughs> so this is the A19 Viaduct Highway. It is a raised highway for the most part across Sicily. It is apparently quite stunning to drive on. It makes it easy having these raised roads for farmers to get back and forth across their lands easy and doesn't cut the area in half as far as the people that live there, which highways often do. It's not all raised. Some of it is at ground level, but you still have a lot of bridges along the way. This is a, a theme that there's just a lot of bridges coming into Palermo. I missed most of them, unfortunately, just timing. And the ride in general was more picturesque than I really thought. And at the very end, I finally got a few snapshots of the ocean for us. Yeah, it's hard to take photos from a movie train. <laughs> Those turn out all right. So in Palermo, we lucked into this B&B &B and got even luckier with getting an entire apartment to ourselves. It was lovely. This is looking down from the patio. And then we also lucked into a fashion show. And there was loud, boomy music, which I'm not playing here because I don't want my YouTube video to be taken down. This fashion <laughs> statement as well. Our fun walking around Palermo. I loved the, the laundries, even though we didn't use one. Um, I thought they were really neat that you could use laundry 24 hours a day. And get a snack. And get a snack. A snack and laundry 24-7. There's lots of architectural sites to see, including that fountain. There's another fountain under that dome or behind that dome, apparently, which I was not aware of until I looked up the location and it said another fountain and we missed it. But there's lots of these courtyards and plazas with always something interesting to see. It's nice that it's a straight shot. You're kind of walking through the middle of the area and you get to see a lot of the sites pretty easily. Yeah, the historic area in Palermo is very easy to navigate. Mm -hmm. This is the Cathedral of Palermo, really beautiful courtyard area. 
Around the outside, we'll see later our statues on the fence line. And then we got a photo. Natalie took this photo of this statue, which was hard to capture on video. Mm, and then the royal grounds. The palace might not be quite as lovely as some of the palaces we saw, but from the photos, it's very nice inside in the cathedral part, especially. This is the entrance gateway arch. It separates the historic area from the new area. All the busy traffic is outside there, so it doesn't go through the historic area. But they have some nice restaurants, like this pizza place. Yeah, so this little dog was guarding this pizza place. And we got a margarita pizza, which we ordered everywhere, just to do comparison. And you got a... Potato and rosemary. Delicious. Which was very delicious. And part in the litter there. Wanted to capture some of the street stalls, and vendors. We're coming up behind the opera house. Where we saw the fashion show. Right, this is where we saw the fashion show the evening before. And you can see how well they did cleaning that up. The street cleaners are hard at work getting that all done. Some of the colors are just stunning for these buildings. This castle has a really nice entrance arch that I didn't get a photo of. The remainder of it is mostly in ruins, but we just happened upon it. As we were heading to this port, which I also thought would be a little bit more picturesque, but the video is gorgeous. I really like it. It was neat to see. And then another image of the stonework of the streets. We ran across the large post office and the colors on that, that red and white, were just really nice as well. This is back to the cathedral with the statues. I tried to get a good shot of many of them. These are religious figures for the most part, popes and such. And then around the other entranceway, we have some female statue characters. This was about as busy as it got which was surprising. Yeah, and we passed it a couple times. Mm, these lovely little courtyards with cafes and the beautiful streets with the contrasting tile work, just so pretty. We're gonna zoom past this entranceway through the arch to the off-street parking, which is a common feature in Italy to have this layout. But you can see the streets are narrow and even this tiny delivery van is having trouble getting in here. It turns into this Austin Powers moment and we're waiting to get a photo of that archway again. You can see some of the garbage sitting out here waiting for pickup and a street cleaner. For the most part, they did a good job. There is some trashy areas, but we did get this photo. It was lovely. And Palermo is known for its street food, so we did seek that out at a restaurant, and it was a huge portion of food. <laughs> it was good, but it was really fun. In the evening, we ended up outside this little pub where a Harley group was gathering. Harleys are not uncommon in Italy. We saw or heard quite a few of them. <laughs> and then another shot of the stonework leaving Palermo. We had missed the celebration the week before and they were just starting to take things down. It was really pretty at night though. And now on to Spain. 